Alright guys, on the bench we have a Uniden PC68 Elite, <clears throat> and this one belongs to Daniel in New York. Um, this is the second New York resident to send me a radio in uh, about a month. So, um, Daniel, thank you for your business, I appreciate it, and thank you for trusting your radio to me. So, in his email, he had discussed a concern about output power. Um, he stated that it was just under 3 watts uh, dead key. And um, it was about, um, what do you say, 250 uh, hertz off frequency. Um, so um, we'll have to take a look at that. And uh, I wouldn't say it's the end of the world. Uh, I'm not surprised um, that it's off um, 250 hertz. Um but again, you have a margin of error. Um, you know, most most of the Cobras, uh, you know, uh, service manuals anyway, will state that it's, you know, plus or minus 200 um, hertz. So is it an issue? I, I guess. Um, but uh, on AM, it's probably not something I would be concerned with. But uh, we could definitely try to get that closer um, to be uh, on frequency. And um, that 3 watt dead key is something that we can definitely uh, improve upon. And then we'll put this on um, the Synad meter and see uh, what we're doing for sensitivity. So, um, yeah, she's uh, warmed up. Let's see what she's doing for power first. And see if we can't get this uh, going uh, a little bit uh, more towards what's legal. Alright, let me key up here and... Audio, audio. Actually, it's more good key at five. So I don't know if I don't know if he's using a a meter at home. Uh, I don't know if it's a quality meter. Um, that could be an issue. Um, yeah. So if you're using, let me see. Let me grab something. If you're using something like this at home, uh, this isn't a watt meter, but you get the idea. If you're using like this or like a Workman or an Aesthetic, um, you know, meter like that, they're, they're very cheap. Um, I guess uh, it's probably the best way to describe it. Um, they're not really accurate, especially, um, you know, for an SWR meter, they're not bad. Um, but uh, my experience with these, uh, you know, if it's not an M MFJ or a bird or something like that, something high quality, um, for me, even dosi meters are kind of on the crappy side. Um, but um, anyway, uh, that could be the issue. We could be using a, uh, a, um, a meter that's not uh, either one calibrated or two relatively cheap. Uh, so if that's the case, then, um, you know, when I set this to 4 watts, maybe if he does have that meter, he can just adjust his meter to 4 watts. Um, you know, if that's if that's the case, if, if that's what he has. I'm not sure how he figured out that he had under a 3 watt dead key. But anyway, this is definitely doing 5. Audio. And hitting about 25. Um, so... All right, how how is it on frequency? All right, so we have twenty seven one eight five, and this is channel um, nineteen. So, and uh, so we're off by three hundred ninety eight um, hertz. So again, you have plus or minus two hundred hertz, um, give or take. Um, so it's it's not far off. Uh, off frequency um, again on on AM uh, I don't know if I'd be concerned with that um, but again um, let's see what we can do um, let me put this on the uh, scope and the spectrum analyzer and uh, let's see how uh, how we're doing for um, for modulation alright let me get you set up on this mini tripod here stand by all right. All right. Looks like we're in view. 
All right, got it hooked up to the, uh, the oscilloscope here, and we'll see what she's doing for modulation. Audio, audio, audio. All right, let's get this on. Nothing looks clipped. That's good. Looks like it's right around 100% uh, modulation, 95, 100. Let's see what she's doing on the spectrum analyzer. Let's say it's a nice clean signal. 27.2. Nice. Let's go out to the 54. Good, nice clean. That's a nice clean radio. All right. Let's put it back. Yeah, looking good. All right, we got a nice clean radio. All right, so doesn't look like anything is clipped as far as modulation goes. Put this back on the frequency counter. Um, we'll get that power down back to four. That way, uh, you're not putting so much stress on this radio. Uh, a one watt difference isn't going to make anything. And uh, it's meant to run at four. We'll set it at four. And uh, all right, let me get this hooked up to the uh, signal generator and we'll see what she's doing for sensitivity. All right, guys. All right, synad meter's hooked up, signal generator's on, and uh, let's turn up the volume. Sorry. that guys so about minus 114 yeah it's 110 11 12 13 14 just about minus 114 so just listen really well all right well let's get her open see what's going on um see if we can um get that transmit a little bit better on frequency all right so i got it opened up and uh, it's pretty much normal. But I must have opened the box this came in upside down because Daniel left me a, a note, which I like having notes. Um, it says, needs tune and alignment. I don't think the transmit frequency is adjustable on this radio. It uses fixed value capacitor instead of VC1. Uh, Daniel's done his homework, um, and this radio does not have VC1. Uh, so a VC1... He's referring to um, a Cobra 25. Um, I don't know why Uniden doesn't include the VC1 on this particular unit. Um, I think they think that, you know, being uh, that far off is acceptable. I mean, I guess on AM it kind of is. But, um, you know, why do they remove that VC1 out of the circuit? Um, I don't know. Um, Cobra has it right, um, you know, in this instance. So, uh, yeah, um, he definitely knows, uh, he did his homework. So, what we're going to do is, um, we're going to put one in circuit. Um, we're going to put a VC1, if you will, um, in circuit here, and, uh, we're going to get this, uh, frequency dead on balls accurate. Um, so, uh. Let me put a uh, let me put one in circuit, and we're gonna get this radio back on frequency. All right, let me uh, put you guys on the mini tripod here, and uh, we'll get this aligned. Um, and, well, not aligned. We'll get this uh, back transmitting on frequency. Stand by. All right, so 
got a uh, trimmer capacitor in circuit um, and uh, got it uh, soldered in and uh, so keep your eyes on the frequency counter here I'm trying to give you guys the most view here um, so hopefully it's hopefully it works out um, some people have been well, I got one comment saying that I should use a tripod more often. Um, I don't know if they get motion sick or whatnot, but um, trying to use a tripod more often. All right, so uh, let's key up here. So we're just a little low now. <clears throat> this is 27184.984. So we're just slightly off here. All right. Let me get this, uh, hopefully my arm's not in the way, but uh, let's get this trimmer capacitor in here, and get this back to 185.000, we're almost there. A little too far. Hopefully you guys can see that. We're getting there. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna say that. Let that final cool off. Just about there. I mean, it's it's on, but just for the sake of this video, uh, I want to get it right at one eight five point zero zero zero. That is perfect. Still have a five watt dead key. Um, I'll get to that. But um, there you go. That's that's what I like to see. I like fixing people's stuff properly. All right. So <clears throat> you guys see the trimmer capacitor? You guys see it in circuit? Yeah, I guess I'll show you my secret. It's right there. That's what you uh, you want to get these things dead on balls frequency. Um, it's the only way to do it. All right, so. I get better than that, I can tell you that. You just gotta get this back down to a normal uh, dead key of four watts. All right, so completed the alignment. Um, I couldn't get any more sensitivity out of this radio. It was um, um, spot on, um, Synad, anyway. Um, but I did get the, uh, I got the trans, I did the whole, uh, whole alignment and, uh, VCO voltage was a little high, so I brought that back down to, uh, 3.5. Um, I'll put the wax back around that VCO area and, um, uh, got the, uh, 4 watts, uh, dead key. Um, so yeah, this is, uh, the only thing that I don't know if he wants done is, this glue, which um, is eventually going to become corrosive and conductive. So I'll run it by him, see if he wants me to uh, take off uh, some of this or all of it. I mean, if you're going to do it, do it all. But uh, I'll see if he wants me to take out that glue. 
Um, but that's it, guys. That's no reason to show you uh, Sonata again. It ended up being the same, but here you go. Back down to a regular 4 watt dead key. Audio. Audio. So. That's it for this uh, radio, guys. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's the only way to get these things um, on frequency. Um, for unit in, that was good enough. Um, you know, not having an adjustment, but, uh, you know, not for us. So, um, you know, we got this thing dead on frequency. Uh, it's aligned, and um, voltages are set up properly. Uh, she's got the right amount of um, output, so this thing's good to go. All right, guys, thanks for watching.